And come to the massive guys, we are finally back again for another one, a Saturday edition of this year, Mr. Licks reaction. Guys, big up all the Mr. Licks YouTube family, you definitely tuned into another reaction. And of course, the newcomers there, the newcomers are there, big up all yourself. I said that pretty fast, man. The newcomers are there, big up all yourself one time for definitely tuning in to this year reaction video, guys. If you haven't done so, definitely subscribe and turn on that post notification. It's important. You guys have been subscribing, yes, but it is important to turn on that post notification. Click the bell when you subscribe and then click all and you'll, be, and you'll be pretty much notified when I drop my videos right there and then guys and give this video a thumbs up I would appreciate that click the thumbs up button click <laughs> simple too easy it doesn't take money to do that just click the thumbs up button guys thousands of you guys want me watch my videos I expect this is like thousands of sub thumbs up man I see a few hundred sometimes a hundred come on guys click the thumbs up button I would appreciate that right there now guys i wasn't gonna do a saturday edition video i was gonna relax man because i was dropping videos like crazy you guys know i work hard this week man ah, let me tell you i work this <laughs> but hey it had to be done right there but of course um i was receiving some more stuff right there which was rather interesting guys as you can read from the thing right there you when you know someone lying like satan well they don't have the like satan there but you get the point right there only people that haven't traveled will believe that that what a wow do a check <laughs> let me see if i can do it properly only people that haven't traveled will believe that what a wow do a check up my people and you will see so you, you have to know the lingo the lingo vibe because if you just read it like that you take it what on earth am i reading but this is a, a what a wow from the suki himself let's take a listen to what auntie is saying right there um, this is Dennis Charles, I believe it is. I was thinking this is Shakira, but I guess sometimes you have to mix up the name sometimes. Anyways. Labor has been. <laughs> Repeat that for me, please. Labor. Labor uh -huh. has been running this country uh -huh. and has brought this country from being the last. The last cacao. The Vienneg at the back. The cow out. The, we, we, okay, we cow out. Uh -huh, no, where we going? In the Caribbean. Uh -huh. To the first. To the first. What? And then. That really ring true. Eh? When you haven't traveled, you believe any foolishness. What a wow wow. That they're telling you. Talking about infrastructure in the Caribbean. Who do you think they're talking about? Dominica, I'm guessing. Dominica. That's it, labor rights. You know. No, no, volume clapping. <laughs> No, no, all you, all you do. Dominica, that's it, labor rights. All you do clap in. So, all you do believer? All you travel, man. You know, you've been doing your homework. Oh, oh, oh you do travel, your homework. And Dominica uh -huh. is the envy of, of the, the region of, right now. Wow, wow. People in the Caribbean, are you guys jealous of Dominica? I don't know. People in the Caribbean, let me know you. Are you jealous of Dominica? Because I remember when Austria was speaking and he said these words. We have been last for too long in this world. Dominica has been behind in too many things. Interesting. Dominica has been behind in too many things. So from since Scarry stated this very thing right there, which was a few years ago, what has changed as a result to not making Dominica the envy of the Caribbean? Because I remember not too long ago when they had World Creole Music Festival, you would think people were going to stay along and chill and relax and say, hey, let me go and explore DAIBW. There was even a girl I was talking about, hey, Dominica, only had three rivers. It had 365 rivers. She should have stayed last week and she'll see how much rivers Dominica have. <laughs> but she said, gone. These people are coming, Kenfield, gone the next day. People leave, were leaving on Sunday to go back work on Monday. That is to tell you how good Dominica is. You mean the envy of Dominica so much people trying to leave? Man was even making noise in K KFC saying, Give me my money, my bottle water leave is not me. You're going to catch that too long. But we are the envy of the Caribbean. Sister, no, sir. You have to play, you have to put the music on that. You hear what the song say? The song say, Teacher say, if you tell a lie, you're going to hell as soon as, as, soon as you die. <laughs> no pogo tori picking you up. <laughs> hellfire straight. Don't go hellfire, no, please. Hell is not a place to go. Stop your dirty ways. Repent and turn from your dirty light ways, Shakira. 
Why is that? Dennis Charles, wherever Mamzel is. Stop your naughty ways. Who you think they're talking about? Yes, sir. Oh, my nigga. That's it, never right. Check it out. Oh, you be doing your home. Them people checking, they don't even believe what she's saying there. You would think Dominica moved from the last to the first in the Caribbean. You would say, yes. Woohoo! We are, that's true. We reach from the last to the first, and that is the response people get it. You know, you've been doing your homework. And Dominica <coughs> is the envy of the region right now. <coughs> My girl, if you're a don't Pinocchio, that nose will extend to Rosal right now, eh? It's interesting. We have been last for too long in this world. Last for too long and we move from last to first. I know she mentioned something about infrastructure. <laughs> As I see in those houses they build. That's how let me move on eh? That is anyways guys, we're moving along. Okay, we stay too long on that. We know Shaky um what's her name? Dennis Charles. We know she's talking a whole set of foolishness. You know when, when you try to tell people something and you want them to believe what you're telling them? So you're trying to use emphasis. From being the last in the Caribbean to the first. To the first. <laughs> it's true, I tell you, it's the first we be. That is it. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> There's um, something that I've been circulating that people have been sending for me. Um, so we might fool the people inside Dominica, but when it comes down to outside, you you don't fool the people outside. People people outside paying attention. Um, this is this individual right there giving his thoughts. Take a listen. The findings published by Westback Freedom House Group are taken seriously. Dominica is one of the freest nations on the planet. It is it is the freest place on the planet. When it comes down to the people having the freedom to go and relax in the sea and feel rejuvenated by Mother Nature itself, going and climb a tree and say, Boy, I want a fig today. Let me go and pick a fig, man. Enough government land out there so that people can just go and pick la fruit and all this kind of stuff there. This is why you don't need money to survive in Dominica. Dominica itself sustains itself when it comes down to the freedom of Dominica. But when it comes down to the political affiliation, that's where things take a, a downward spiral. Uncle, talk to us. It has been given 93 points out of 100. Impressive, yes. right? Yep. But this impression fades immediately as soon as one looks into the facts and the ground reality. Look at the blueprint, man. Hi and welcome to TFI Global Caribbean. TFI Global's channel is specially dedicated. Okay. Dominica, a Western ally in the Caribbean, has to be one of the most corrupt nations in mm -hmm. the world. I think it, 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 no doubt about it, and it's sad. It's sad that a little country like that can be one of the most corrupt nations on planet Earth. Boy, but we talking about we the we the world we move from where I'm sure I'm, I'm Sandra from being the last in the Caribbean to the first. Probably that she talking about being the corrupt in the level of corruption. We move from the last to the first. Corrupt nations in the world. The ruling party, Dominica Labour Party, has hijacked the democratic institutions yep. of the country, annihilated the opposition, and established one party rule in the nation over the last 22 years. Yep. The current head of state, Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt, has seemingly fixated himself on the PM chair. He seems to want to be the king. I hear Reginald talking about, oh, it is scary country. When people travel, they're asking if it's scary country. I have traveled across the world. I have never, not once, heard that people talking about scary country. Never. Some people told me that they heard about Dominica in New York when I was doing some interviews in New York and this kind of things. They say they do Dominica. They say Dominica. They even know about syndicate because some of them wanted to come and do some water project in Dominica. You know that fall through. He has been ruling Dominica for 19 years now, and now he is eyeing to become the leader for life by pulling a fast one on the opposition. Dominica went. Well, I don't think a leader for life. He has another. If he wins this one, if there's an actual election, then he's going to be going for another five years. Obviously, he'll be doing certain things without an opposition if the opposition doesn't think. So, he'll be doing certain things during that time that would not constitute the best interests of Dominica. But of course. What does Ms. Telix know? Into elections in 2019, where the ruling party won 18 seats out of 21 amid allegations of massive election fraud and bribery. back rigging. Bribery and treating. Beer. 
Because even CCJ saw this and said that the 10th of 2019 should not happen again. Well, the main opposition party, United Workers Party or the UWP, argued that electoral results in 10 constituencies should be overturned due to fraud and bribery. Bribery and treating. It is very clear that this was happening in Dominica. It's very clear. Even Gaston Brown, we saw there was a news report going out of it on him. I myself posted the video of Gaston Brown giving people money. They do they do buy service. They do can bring lollipop or ice pop for you for you to give them money after and say, boy, I'll check you later. No, none of that. <laughs> Gaston dancing. Yeah. Dancing, man. And then putting on the side, giving people $200. Some people stretching in his vehicle for some money. and give them some money. Bear, right in your face. Seeing it going on. Bribery and treating. Maybe not bribery, but this one is treating. Election time coming up, so you're going around to give the people the money to, for them to vote for you. After the elections, the UWP announced it will never participate in the election process until electoral reforms are rolled out. Which should be the case. They should have hap That was going to happen last time, but the UWP team outside of Lennox said that they, they should run. Lennox, them didn't want to run, you know. But the UWP team wanted to run, so they, they just agree. Okay, you guys are, are, are the people, you guys took a vote, we should run, and therefore run. Lennox is not a dictator, you know. Well, those of all you probably didn't know this. Well, no, you probably do. As for the UWP, the country is in dire need of electoral reforms to append the sorry state of democracy in the it country. Is. The issuances of picture identification cards and a cleansing of voters list mm -hmm. are two major re-registration of the voters list months that the opposition has been raising for over last three years. Prime Minister More than that, sir. More than that, but more specifically, yeah. Uh, Roosevelt Skerritt has appointed Sir Dennis, a former president of the Trinidad based Caribbean Code of Justice hmm. or the CCJ, to lead the electoral reform process. But but allegations arrive that Sir Dennis is on the government's payroll and is deliberately putting the issue on the back burner. Hmm, interesting. But he did bring it forward. If that is the case, I can see the possibility of that being the case. Because the government did pay him a certain amount of money for him to do these things. But then when he, I guess, he decided, probably Sir Byron decided, you know what, let me bring this thing forward. And when the letter was given to Lennox, he decided to call elections. And he's coming and tell people, hey, he catch them on, 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 on with their pants down. Well, he and not say that, but he echoed the sentiment. So I got they're not ready. We are the strongest team. When they see people, you know, building and they check it. What I got to do that they say they're not cost contesting elections. Say <laughs> Ted Calvas. To give leeway to the prime minister as per a report by san dominica sir dennis 450 okay this one man consultancy has already cost dominican taxpayers more than four hundred and fifty thousand dollars i don't know if that is ec or us that's what i wanted to know this shows that the allegations of corruption being leveled by the opposition are not unfounded but are legitimate after breaching his own deadline and promises several times sir dennis finally declared that he will be proposing the required electoral reforms in two phases ah so he he, he lapsed on it then he lapsed on it because he didn't meet his own deadlines interesting stuff the first phase reform draft would be released november by, 2022 by the end of november 2022 yep. now in a move aimed at circumventing these impending reforms the roosevelt scare it called election administration has announced snap elections to be held in the next month the prime minister recently announced on tv i want the year 2023 to begin with a fresh mandate given to a fresh labor team to commence the work of building post covid dominica he added i am proposing a national reset after 20 or 18 years 19 years on his watch but opposition and experts have set the alarm bell ringing the uwp in a statement said on the night when the country was expected to hear the prime minister lead the call to support those affected mr scarrett decided to place his personal interests ahead of the country obviously and then people think my prime minister care about me we my prime minister don't care about me we boy yes this announcement must be condemned by all dominicans as an affront to our democracy and an insult to our people, the party further said. Dominicans cannot be asked at this time to participate in another national election without meeting at least two basic election standards 
that is the the vote id cards and the re-registration of things the prime minister never do this thing it's interesting how these things is unfolding and people just doesn't see the <laughs> well not that they do, I, I, forgive me guys forgive me i have just sinned against you guys it's not that the people doesn't see they seen but they just wicked themselves i tell you I, I i personally used to believe that the people not seen no longer do the people need to go outside no they seen and they feeling it for themselves i tell you i saw people blowing on and a month ago they was complaining all things bad in dominica so they come back to put the very thing or supporting the very thing that is meant to keep them oppressed and i'm supposed to take people serious we supposed to take people serious when they talking about oh how bad things are and then you come back i will never forget the same dj dj mj or whatever is his name there the dj the dj crying on camera we saying but things are hard in dominica but say things are hard in dominica I don't know. and if i feel it much less for those who, who, who are less fortunate than me but in the same video in the same video the man saying I will vote for the very person that allowing me to be in the circumstance and allowing Dominica to be in the circumstance that they are in. And you think people have a seen problem? It's not people doesn't see. They equally as wicked and corrupt. Just like Professor Lomumba said it, and I keep saying this from time to time. The people get what they truly deserve. Peter have to then pay for Paul. If the majority is corrupt, if the majority, hey, I want for myself, I want one, one for myself, not realizing that, hey, if I have to grow kids in that same thing, the, the, they will face the kind of circumstances or even worse. Now, crime it is increasing. Where well, back in the day, yeah, people getting all this ammunition to come into Dominica now, to do crime, and then all kind of things happening in Dominica. Where well, back in the day, you hear those things happening? Not to say it wasn't happening back in the day, but it's more to a magnitude now. Man even taking risk. <laughs> Man taking risk to bring ammunition on the port. We. Hoping that some insider would bypass it or make somebody else replace, be a pretty face or somebody that is of character to go and clear things. And then as a result of that, make things pass through into the country. Anyways, let me continue. Namely, a clean voters list reflecting the persons who can legally vote and national ID cards available to all legitimate voters. With this, the UWP has also boycotted the upcoming snap elections. They have vowed not to participate in the electoral process until reforms are implemented. In fact, Dominica's neighbor, St. Lucia, has also expressed concerns over the declaration of snap elections by Skerit and supported UWP's calls for reform. I think all the Caribbean islands need to come together and say, hey, this is a long time coming. You guys have been here, the opposition leader or the opposition themselves been saying this in Dominica, this needs to be done. You guys seeing that this needs to be done. OAS came in and they said these things need to be done. They say some of the laws also have to change. There's a number of things that need to be done. So I think the rest of the Caribbean islands should come and give a statement on this behalf because Dominica like to go and meddle in other Caribbean people elections, you know. They like to go and stand up on stadium and say, hey, look me, yeah, but for that person and that. So the people need to come in as well. They need to, the other Caribbean islands need to come and issue a statement saying, hey, no election should be done. And the, the, uh, the, the, the thing, the, the, the vote, um, electoral reform should be not a difficult thing. It's not a difficult thing. I mean, Marco, say you have Dominican, you want free and fair elections. The people have a right to choose who they want to choose. Now, don't get me wrong, you know, guys. If there's free and fair elections taking place and the people decide, hey, it's Labour, I want to vote for, hey, dog, go have fun right ahead. But the duty of being, being a part of this electoral process is that so that it is free and fair. Whoever they choose, they can choose Papi, they can choose Freedom. Which is the leader of the Freedom Party now? Because Kerry keeps saying he's the leader of the Freedom Party, but I you know a Freedom Party leader saying that they 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 do not contest in elections. So it's kind of confusing what Prime Minister Scarry saying on the stage. <laughs> but guys, what are your thoughts, man? Leave your thoughts in the comment box below, man. I think this is really really sad what is going on in Dominica. Really really sad. How he mind us hijack it for him to maintain power, and during the very same day we. 
God probably had made that eyes. Well, some people say, why God? Why would God make all these disasters and things happen and whatnot? God probably allowed it to happen to sh to expose the dirty ways of the very um, scared himself. He probably did this to expose it, and he's showing. Boy, I tell you, boy, he's showing you who the man is. Disaster happened and craziness happened in the place. And the man calling elections at the same time and he think he care about you. It's not to say he didn't know. He had ample time. He said it in the same meeting, in the same vo video. Talking about what was happening in, in the East. And what happened in the East when he could be um, 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 putting money towards them to organize people. Instead of doing these things, none of that was happening. He call elections and then setting money outside. Setting money aside for him to be able to, to call elections and run campaign while he is in turmoil. So when I say these things, you think it's me. Guys, you think it's me I say not for man. I'm not in the East, no? I'm not in the East. You think it's me I say not for? <laughs> okay. Well, if you think it's for me I say not for, continue. With all I said right there, guys, let me know your thoughts in this, this regard. Leave your thoughts in the comment box below. Um, I'll post this video in the description below so you guys can check it out as well if you want it un uninterrupted. And with all I said right there, guys, give this video a thumbs up if you have not done so. And subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get more vibrations as they tend to come through. Hopefully, I don't have to do no video tomorrow. I can rest my bones. I can rest my back. By the way, Wakanda is out so I can go and watch a movie or something, man. Let me get me my up. <laughs> With all that said right there, guys, like I said before, definitely subscribe and turn on that post notifications if you have not done so, guys, and give this video a thumbs up. It doesn't take, that, that doesn't take much. It, it, it really doesn't. Click the thumbs up button. I would appreciate that, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Boom, bang.